all, I got wonderful news for you guys. Cause guess what? We are going drifting tomorrow morning. Woo! So today is Friday, January 15th. So we all, so the last thing you guys know, remember I guys talked about, I was trying to figure out something about the, um, the steering and I was still having that problem. And uh, I just decided, you know what? I got a second opinion on about the rack. And uh, I, you know, I was talking to a couple of friends of mine and a lot of them are saying, you know, I would change the rack first, like you originally thought. And I'm like, you know what? You know, get the, get the out of it because the rack was heavily damaged um, from, you know, Rockford Speedway last year. So I'm like, you know what? Just got a whole new rack. So we know for sure the rack's 100% okay, right? Super excited. And uh, we, train, we need to get this car right, prepped by tonight. And I'm leaving here at my location, going all the way up to Great Lakes Union. Well, my GLD, that's my whole, my whole drift pad right there. You know, that's where I, that's my go-to place. Go in there and we're gonna be testing. All, it's all for testing to make sure the steering's fine so I can have a peace of mind. You know, uh, I won't be there for the full event. Um, but like I said, we're just gonna be there just to get this car tested. When it's all good, when we know it's drifting counter steering, we're done, we go to the next step. So, um, enough chit chat, we gotta start getting this thing done right now. So, we don't have that much stuff to do other than, you know, we just gotta take, you know, the wheel off of that side. We just gotta take tire right, tire, bolt, bolt, pop, pop it down, right? Hof it is pretty tight, I ain't gonna lie. If you look over here, uh, let me get a flashlight here, okay. If you look over here for the RB when you put the together, it is pretty close. That rack and, and then that's a brace from the engine block to the trans. So it's pretty close. I'm gonna have to take that off. I definitely gotta take that off if I remember. Do you know do you know what I hate about working on the cold sometimes? Is when you're you're putting so much tension to release something and you're so scared to like hit your fingers on a on a metal component and then you have that ah moment. Ugh. Don't you just love it when um, things come out together, no problem? You know, it's at ease. Oh, look at that. Speaking of at ease. <laughs> now, hopefully the other side came off just as that good. Because, you know, it's always... <laughs> i never seen two things come out together perfectly. There are always one, always super hard to get off. This should be the easy one. Ugh. Oh. I <laughs> see. Oops, it's supposed to, I was tightening it. <laughs> All right, come on! Oh, I have a bad feeling, you know? I have a really bad feeling lifting this thing up. This one's gonna be the hard one because this is the one that, that got damaged or got, in, or got hidden in impact. So this might be a, this might give me a fight though. I mean, it already is, not like it was. <laughs> I'm gonna think of something. I really thought that this was gonna be the easy one, right? Because it's going up. Uh, I don't really think that did anything, but. I get just that one, that one good snap, and that's it. Oh, wait. Oh, I could just, oh, I'm so dumb. I could just do this. You know, why, why try to pull up when you could just, you know, just push it with your feet because use my feet and just push it up. Oh, ah, it fell off. Come on. Ah. Ah. Yes. Oh, sweet victory. Yes. Oh, it's loose. Let's go. Using that big brain, that big brain moment. This one was kind of a struggle, but I mean, hey, big brain, we got it. Okay, so now that's all done. Uh, it's time to drain the rack. I'm um, just trying to find my my pan. Found it. I'm gonna bring it over here because it's gonna, you know, everyone knows it's gonna be messy. So I'm not trying to dirty the floor, especially when I'm working right under it. Apparently, I don't have you know traditional AN like wrenches, so I'm just gonna probably I believe that's 16 or an 18. Start draining those black ones out. I am so excited for, for tomorrow morning, right? Gonna finally figure out if this thing is actually drifting or not. Like, I found out on Facebook, I saw the events, 
being hosted and then I was calling the uh the one of the guys who's hosting it. I'm like, yeah, you, you for sure it's you should for sure it's that's a it's a it's an event. I'm like, yeah, and I'm sorry, I'm saying event, but it's like more like a test and tune, you know, practice day. I don't care. Like, you know, I'm not taking my car to the streets because I don't want to get pulled over and I'm super excited that the that they're doing it. And it's honestly it, it was a calling, you know? Like I saw that event, I'm like, I have to get this thing done. Like I have to, it just, I need to know. I need to know, cause I'm not gonna wait two and a half months to find out this thing counter steers or not. Like that's like w super wasted potential. And it's like, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, yeah, does it cost gas money? You know, and like bring the trailer out, you know, even though the trailer's not, by the way, the trailer's not even fixed, by the way. You know, like, and I found out I'm missing, uh, one of the tires has a terrible puncture and I need a tire for it. But you know what? You guys still gotta send it. You still have to send it. Oh yeah, there you go. There's the there's the fluid. Now you guys got your loose. Gonna bag you guys up because I don't want trans fluid. Or I'm not sorry, power Oh, why why can't I saying trans fluid? It's power steering. You know? Well well, you could use automatic trans fluid technically too as well. You know. I mean that's what I use for this, so put it in the, the just put it in the frame right there. Alright. So now brackets, we gotta worry about the brackets now. So all right. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go! Alright, one bracket down, one more to go. Wow, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, everything's going pretty well. Like I really thought I really thought it was gonna be tougher than this. I like like the last time I remember. I remember last time it was pretty bad, but or is it may maybe I didn't tighten everything it's supposed to? That's why everything is coming off pretty easy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now just the, now just the shaft bolt. There's a lot of oil residue, man. That oil cooler really let out, didn't it? Look at all this, man. Look at all that. Look how dirty that is. She needs a good wash down, honestly. Okay. Oh no. So now we're gonna be taking that shaft bolt out. Right, as best as I could. Oh man, this is gonna be kind of tough. Oh, I heard it snap. Totally using the wrong, <laughs> wrong stuff here. Oh, I think I got it. Oh yeah, I got it. Don't you just love it when that you get that snap feeling and you're like, yes. Oh, so I personally recommend if you're really unorganized like I am, like you're just lying stuff around, get one of these. Trays are super cheap. You get like Harbor Freight, Home Depot, anywhere. And like, dude, like they come in all kinds of sizes, but I have one on each side of the car for, you know, obviously for left and the right because I, I, I just leave stuff all around. Like, look at this, look at this. I just leave stuff all around because, you know, I like the convenience of just dropping it. But obviously when putting it together, like everything just goes, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, you just lose parts, you waste time. So I, it's just a personal recommendation. Get him if you're unorganized. I know I'm unorganized, so do it. 100% love this stuff. You know, I know, I know this is not the right, there's a proper tool to help, you know, pull out that shaft, the, the, the collar, or not the collar, the, um, yeah, the, 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 the column, but I think a hammer and a flathead do just fine. Oh yeah, 110% does just fine okay now that's all loose Peace. grab one of these bad boys oh uh, so if i remember pull this way uh, all right now this one's a little bit deeper so hope you're not hopefully you're not crunched and actually, now I think about it, I really hope you're not damaged because this took a lot of, this took a hit. Uh, oh, thank God I'll be able to reach it. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so happy though that that came off. Because this, because this is a modified subframe that my buddy Koda put together, uh, the one inch for the angle kit. And um, I totally forgot that when this got hit, this could have jeopardized it and I could have not get it out. And we really would be in trouble then. Cause finding a subframe now, it's just, oh man. I mean, I'll reuse this as long as I can, you know? Nothing like a good welder and some sheet metal can't fix. Oh, this is so satisfying, honestly. Like when things just come out together where they're supposed to, I just can't help to be happy, dude. Like this is, this so far, everything's going really well, so. 
All right. Okay, nice and easy. Come on. A little bit tricky but we got it <laughs> right so now that's done got this bracket off uh, oh i know why uh, this part this one's probably a little bit more it needs a little bit ah uh, there you go that one's out so the problem is now is that since the subframe is pushed up an inch we adjusted all uh, that to compensate for the shaft too we also put like an inch as well um the problem is now is that it, the, the tolerance is so tight with each other i have to pull the rack out oh uh, not the rack the uh, the steering shaft just a little bit out because i can't i there's just none of give to pull it over the the stud or the spline of it so we're going to be doing that now next it shouldn't be that bad there's only three right there and then just two bolts right here uh for the uh the 240s right uh yeah there's one bolt there and there should be another bolt right there <laughs> yeah. well i guess i don't need to talk at all it's already uh hand hand uh hand tightened man look at that it... <laughs> all right that should give me enough clearance now so i don't have to pull too much of it i just gotta lower it just a little bit oh uh, we should oh yeah we should be good looks like it yeah look at that look how much look at that see boom didn't have to do that much so uh, gotta wiggle around a little bit it's, 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 I, like i said it's like a really tight tolerance in here okay what i'm gonna do I'm gonna take the the bushings out maybe that'll help right there come on come on i know you want to leave i know you want to leave oh oh let's go oh my god oh my god oh Oh, that took forever. So, um, yeah, so I guess the accident must have closed the tolerance even tighter because I remember we were able to get it off with the bushing. So, obviously, um, I couldn't this time. What I had to do was I had to take the bushings out separately, which was a struggle because this one's really tight. This one came off pretty good. I noticed if I just put the bushings, like, like on top like this, it's super easy. Um, this one was, like, on the side, so it was pinched on the bottom, which was super... I, it, it just i was like fighting against it taking that bushing out so um but there's a few things that we need to take off this rack to put onto the new rack is these an fittings for the chase bait kit and obviously this one here as well and the fittings right here and then after that we're done and we just gotta put it back putting i'll be honest with you i am not looking forward to putting that back because the way it struggled because i actually had to like really force it um force it out and like i kind of like rubbing against the pan i'm like come on get out of there so um, uh, it scraped the pan a little bit, um, but it shouldn't be too much. So putting back on would be easy, like just like throwing it back in there. But now I got to put the bushings on it. So it's gonna be really interesting to have to put the bushings on it with that tight, that tight clearance. So dude, I'm super excited about this because I mean, it's a new rack. Like, I mean, like, how can you not be excited? Like a new, like, this is probably the newest thing I ever would have bought right now. You know, because finding used racks is just like, you don't want to take the chances of, you know, getting the wrong one. So, oh, oh my God, look at that. Oh, look how clean it is. Oh my goodness. Uh, warranty, what's warranty? Oh, dude, look. Oh my God, this is, this is so beautiful. Look how, look at that brand new oh dude that's fantastic you know and the best part is they even put a little alignment mark so this thing is this thing is straight look at the look how clean that spline is look how this spline look how beat up that is so but the reason why i want to show you is this is my so this is the difference oem and this is the drift uh rack so the only difference between this rack compared to the OEM is obviously you know the extension and all that is is just a maxima tie rod S14. That has to be S14. Just an OEM, and we just got some, just just some metal to space it out, and then boom, there you go. Look the look at the biggest look at that difference right there. I am looking forward to put this on, but I have to, like I said, I have to change a couple parts over to this new rack, so we'll be good to go. Oh man, you know what I might just do? What I might do 
is take everything apart, install the rack, because the lines were caught in the way too. So I don't damage the lines. Afterwards, install the lines. Afterwards, I mean, it's like just AN fittings, just tying up, do them, and then. So I minimize any damages on the lines because the last thing I want to do is destroy a line and, and then we get, and it's just all over the place. All the, all the little ones all loosened up, so I'm just going to tie it up. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I try to see the problem is, is like some of these, some of these racks, right? Especially the S13s, uh, when you try to take them off, right? Even with a, with a, with a brake line wrench, right? They start to strip really bad. Like these things are just not that strong. Like if you look right here, Here's the camera. I, so I tried to do it, and you see it's already stripping. Like, look at that. And this is and this is this is a twelve brake line wrench. This is what you're supposed to use. You see all that? It starts to strip really bad. So I'm like, you know what? I rather just cut the lines. So what I did was I cut the lines. Just grab the socket, put it in there, and then you know, boom. You got a hundred percent surface right there. Boom. Done. Done. Did with these. So boom. I'm not. I'm not gonna use those hard lines. So. Because I have the chase bays over there, so I'm not too worried about it. But I also another thing too, these things are really super tight. So pulling them off here is just not gonna help. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the rack, right? And then do exactly what I did with in taking out the tie rods and just install these tie rods. You know, I might change this one out because this is the one that got hit. It's like really flexible. This one, it's like a nice oh, this one's like nice and stiff. So I don't know, I might I might I might get another tie rod. You never know, like inner inner uh inner tie rods. So all right, we're gonna start installing this. Oh, oh, I forgot. We're gonna be taking those um, AN fittings on the side right here and plug these. The good thing is this one is not, they're just plugged in, so that's awesome. So that's like, literally we don't have to take apart. So that's fantastic. Hey guys, so now um, I had to go to work and I'm back now, right? And it's, it's like, what time is like 10 o'clock, right? 10, no, it's like 11. So it's 11.30 right now, right? I had an eight hour shift um, after I finished. So. On my last thing, um, I was you know messing with the rack and pinion before I had to leave here. Um, and another thing too that we need to take care of, we need to take this uh, tire machine that was gifted by Trent. If you guys remember, I made a video about it. And uh, I have two great friends that went to UTIs years ago, and they're helping me take this off because you know this is like what 500 pounds, right, Ryan? 500 pounds is that around right? So um, I can't do it myself. So obviously, I'm grateful to have friends to help me out on that right and then we have my hoist here to uh you know get all that done meantime i need to get um the rack inside and i obviously have everything installed so it is around 11 30. it's about to be saturday in about 30 30 minutes so uh i need to get this thing rolling because we need to be at the track um location by nine o'clock in the morning so um to get this car tested you know make sure the rack is doing its job make sure all the steering doing its job so that's something to look forward to <laughs> while they're working out here right getting all this situated let's let's start with the rack all right so we got that piece out of the way let's use this cardboard here to lay out the units Oh, dude, adjustable wrenches is your best friend. Honestly. <laughs> what did you say? I got it. Oh my god, look at that! And you guys told me the hoist wouldn't do it. By the way, how are you guys hanging this thing? <laughs> oh. Oh. Man. Hey, get you guys get get you guys the strong boys. Get the strong boys. Hey! And you guys told me. Okay. Oh look! Look at that! Look at that! They told me that that Harbor Freight platform will able to handle it. Woo! Okay, so right there. Right, first angle where your shaft goes. Oh shit! Right, right so we just gotta push right, this in there. Hold your hands. Huh. 
Who did you get to some magnets? Alright, first off. Alright, so I'm assuming arrow faces this way. Arrow fits on top right here. Arrow fits on top. So you see the arrow. Alright, right. well this is an easy part. Ryan right here, so um, he actually said that hey you should probably change out that inner tie rod because it probably could have gotten damaged too so what ryan is doing right now is he is taking the old tie rod because we actually modified that from the mat the 2002 maxima outer uh, inner tie rod and he's gonna cut it into length how originally it was the original setup using this custom uh, uh outer tie rod so and if you look over here we got my butt <laughs> My buddy Chance. I'm gonna beat you with a lead iron stick. Got my buddy Chance here, and he's putting the last bit of the bushing. I right, won well, this bushing got in real easy. The one that you had such a hard time with? No, that one is the one that I had a hard time with. Basically, them being here, then these two being here really sped up the process. So once the rack's in, we just gotta put the shaft all together. Um, Ryan just gotta finish up modifying the inner tie rod. Chance just finished putting the rack on now. So all we just gotta do is take all the old stuff off, put it in, and then you know we'll start the car. Man, Chance, you look you look terrible. Oh, uh, you look you look uh you you good? <laughs> I appreciate you, Chance, man. I appreciate you. Hey Ryan, how things that are easy for me. Well it's cause like you know, I'm not strong. I'm not strong. I'm not strong. <laughs> Look at this, man. I would have just eyeballed that model. <laughs> I would just, I would oh, just get a paint marker. Just, like, mark this marker? Um, I got a permanent marker right here. Yeah. Would that work? Give me some tape. Tape, uh, tape, 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 tape. Where's some tape? Ah, found the tape, man. Right. What else do I gotta do? Just bracket. There you go. Um, so now it's on. Oh, oh, we got, we got to put the bracket on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to do that, hon. What size is this first? 17s. Both 17s. There should be, there's actually one right there next to you. That, that rat, that's attached to that ratchet. Did you got them both stuck? Cuts? Yeah. Oh, you're, I think must be so uncomfortable. No, actually this is no big deal. Oh. I kind of got it going right there. I don't know if you can feel it. Grinder, grinder. Uh, got you a grinder, but no disc. Disc. Oh, got you a disc. I got you a disc. I got you a grinder. Come on. Man, I can't hold nothing. <laughs> I can't. I can't hold nothing. <laughs> the disc broke. Oh no, the disc broke. No. Uh. Oh, I got another disc. A little old. You know. It might. It might shatter. It's gonna shatter, it's chipped. Oh, okay. Very badly. It's okay, you just got, you don't have to cut that much off. Give me an extension cord, please. Yes, sir. Look at that, all done. Brand new. Straight from Nissan. Straight from Nissan, Chance. Straight from Nissan. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Chance. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Drive safe. No. <laughs> See ya. All right. Thanks to them, they saved me a lot of time. So we got the rack on, and unfortunately, Chance did his best to install one of the bolts for the brackets of the rack with the with the subframe kind of a little bit warped. Just it looks like it's a little bit warped, maybe. Um, so he tried his best to get one of the bracket bolts on so it's not fully seated but we're trying to try our best to do it you know so we still got still got a long way to go i have no idea what time it is now but we still got a long way to go to get this car up to speed we gotta install the intercooler um obviously the tie rods uh the lines the shaft right and then um obviously just gotta put the pump for the power steering so whoo it's gonna be a long night so I'm in a little pickle at the moment now. It's like like 123 now. And with this new rag it came with uh, in our tie rods. They are 
height. And the thing is, there is a special tool that you can use to take this off. I don't, I don't have the special tool. And the thing is, it's already closed, so no anywhere I could rent one. So, at the time being, I'm trying to think of unique ways to try to get these guys out. But in the meantime, I haven't really eaten. I'm actually kind of hungry, so I'm gonna make some ramen. Actually, I was gonna eat this, you know, the next day. Oh, I forgot one thing. Is what I need is my little, my little burner. So to cook my ramen in, make sure everything's good. Oh, make sure, make sure the lines are matching. Look at that. Uh, uh, I'm starving. Man, what a day. Like, from Friday morning, 6 o'clock, coming over here, taking everything apart, you know, getting, like, you know, majority halfway done. And then, unfortunately, I had work today, so, you know, I left around noon, drove back, did an eight-hour shift, and then didn't get back here until, like, past 11 to get parts and obviously traveling down here so i didn't have that much time we still have to put the rack back together thank god for my buddy you know ryan and chance coming over because if it wasn't for them coming over you know it would it would took me so long to get everything done and taking the tire machine out oh my god you know god bless god bless them. i have i have some really good friends you know and god bless them but it's just like it comes down to it Right, oh, man, like almost 24 hours awake. You know, it's like right. Well, in perspective, it's two o'clock right now, and or like two o'clock ish. You know, and I'm having so much trouble with the with those inner tie rods. They're just so tight. You know, this is a brand new rack, so they make sure they made it tight, and I'm just having so much trouble taking it out. I have to. I have no strength to even try to even muscle it out and like you know this is i haven't had a meal in a couple hours now i would say since like five o'clock yesterday but you know what though but you know what's crazy like we got all this done sitting here now eating ramen two o'clock in the morning working on the drift car like this is such a vibe you know this is what it's all about even if i don't make it to drift you know tomorrow or later today, technically. I'm just so happy I accomplished so much. You know, like, it's, 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 you know, it's always good to never give up, you know? But it's also good, too, to never push yourself too hard knowing that it's just not worth it, you know? And, it's, and the best part is it's only j late January. Like, we got plenty of time. They sh you, the track that I go to, they frequently do these test and tunes every week as much as they can. So even if I don't go today, you know, which is, you know, Saturday... I still got all tomorrow. Or not all next week. I'm so sorry. And next week. So by then, the call will be way prepped by then. You know, I have a little bit more money, in the, in, you know, to, you know, you know, to, you know, any, anything hiccups like that. I mean, I had the money to take care of now, but it's always nice to, you know, feel more secure. Um, no, but like, wow. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just so happy. Like, my, thank God. God bless Ryan and Ch um, Chance coming here. If it wasn't for them coming here, it would took me forever to get all the stuff done. They cut me down so much time, you know. Yo, God, yo, God bless them. And like taking a time machine was such a big bonus. Oh God, that thing was. You know, I, I ain't gonna lie, I am exhausted. You know, I can't think right now. I'm hungry. You know, and I just don't have the strength to work on the car. You know, but even even but even then, even if you don't have the strength, right? I'm just happy, you know, I'm just happy I, I, I made so much progress, so much progress. This is what it's all about, you know? Ah. Besides. Ah. Ah. Nothing, nothing beats a good ramen, you know? After a good, good day of working on the car at the long shift, you know? It's like, that's what it's all about. And I'm satisfied with it, you know? Even if I don't, like I said, even if I don't go drifting tomorrow, it's not gonna, I'm gonna go drift next week. You know, I have plenty of time. So, oh, the flames are pretty. Not a lot of flames left. 
I'm gonna let this cook a little bit. Oh, doesn't that look good, guys? Woo! No, ramen, let's go! You know what, this ramen is gonna taste so much better knowing that, you know, I worked hard today and thank you for my friends to come out and, you know, today was a really successful day. Even if, even if the car is not finished, today's a serious. Today was a successful day. Let's go!